They probably even thought they were serving the Lord, but they also were serving false gods. And uh, so that's, that's important emphasis here. If you do return to the Lord with all your hearts, then put away the strange gods and the Ashtaroth from among you. Children did put away the Baalim. That's a plural. So you got Baal and Ashtoreth. Ashtaroth is the plural of Ashtoreth, by the way. Balaam is a male god. Ashtoreth is a female god. It's, uh, it's really tragic that the nation of Israel had fallen into defeat, disrepute, because of their sins. If their priest Eli and his sons had been faithful, that probably never would have happened. It probably is derivative from corruption in the leadership. Not Eli, by the way. He's okay. But he didn't discipline his sons, and his sons were corrupt and, and gave the priesthood a bad name. That caused deterioration. Now, not to get into politics, but we went through eight years of an administration in this country. It was probably the most criminal administration that the country's ever seen. But that's not the problem. The example and the lack of accountability has been a lesson to everybody. It shouldn't surprise us that we have corruption and fail, a lack of integrity in the corporate world and throughout our culture. Because the chief executive and the examples that were set for eight years is, is bound to, to uh, echo those kinds of things. But now here we have a question of false worship. You say, well, gee, you know, we don't have that problem. We're not worshiping Baal and Ashtoreth. Really? You know, we're approaching the month of October. And there's an innocent little children's holiday called Halloween. And I love what Pat Matriciana claimed. He says, asking a Christian to celebrate Halloween is like asking a Holocaust survivor to celebrate Hitler's birthday. We tend to shrug it off as a harmless children's time, and yet it is the high day in the occult. Uh, Wicca is a recognized religion in this country. It is their high day. It is such a high day that the traditional churches have responded, recognizing that as a high day, that October 31st, therefore All Saints Day for November 1st. There's a whole background I won't go into. We have a briefing package on if you're interested. But the point is, there's a tendency in our culture to shrug this off. Harmless stuff. There's an extremely popular children's set of books and a movie, Harry Potter and all of that. And there's some that... Uh, uh, Shrug it off as harmless fantasy children's stories. But the experts in the occult will tell you differently. Is there any harm with the movie and the book? Maybe not, but the websites are link, include links to serious witchcraft sites to teach the kids witchcraft. And so if you get into that, uh, recognize. And I'm just picking that as an example because it's on our near horizon as we're meeting here. But throughout our culture, paganism is on the rise. And it takes all kinds of forms. What's really behind the crop circles? We've got a popular movie out about that. But what, what are the crop circles really? Some well, they're just hoaxes. No, there was hoaxes that, that claimed to be hoaxes that were debunked. Something very strange is going on. And what's the linkage between them and the UFOs? Are the UFOs real? Most of what you hear is nonsense. And yet behind all that, there's some serious stuff. And so this whole issue of the occult this whole issue of paganism, this whole issue of the new age, are those just harmless superstitions? Why did God make casting a horoscope in the old, in ancient Israel, a capital crime? It's not a question of superstition in the sense of manifestation of ignorance. It's that they're playing with serious fire. And that's just as true today as it was then, even though the labels may be different today. But let's keep moving on here. So Samuel said, gather all Israel to Mitzvah, and I will pray for you 